I am a publisher, writer, editor, daughter, sister, auntie, dog mom, and many other things, including currently a cancer patient. But I am not a doctor or medical professional of any sort. What you are about to watch is an episode of my journey through cancer. I'm sharing my adventure with you in hopes that you'll find something here that's comforting and maybe even inspiring. This video is not intended to provide any sort of diagnosis or treatment plan. Please, please go talk with your doctor for professional medical advice. So, I've lost a little over 14 pounds in about six weeks of cancer treatment um, so far. That's not totally out of line with weight loss that might occur intentionally with a reasonable diet, of exercise but um, of course I lost this weight unintentionally um, not that I didn't want to lose it I said back in the very first video that I made for this vlog that I was on a quest to get back to my fighting weight um, but but cancer is a terrible way to slim down I haven't exercised in well over six weeks um, at least not in any appreciable way. Um, done a little bit of yoga um, here and there, mostly there, mostly uh, laying on the floor and doing some simple, easy core exercises. Um, and I haven't walked at all. And that's in large part because walking hurts and my gait is a little funny. Um, <laughs> I've worn my Fitbit generally throughout. Um, the goal is 10,000 steps a day, and I haven't hit 2,000 in weeks. Anyway, I have very little muscle tone left. Um, I might fit better in my clothes, um, including that perfect pair of black wool pants that I told myself I was gonna get into in time for this winter. Um, you know, but I don't feel great in them. And, you know, I realize part of that is because radiation burns and pants in general are uncomfortable at the moment. Um, but also because I feel weak. Um, I feel as if I did try to go for a good, long, hard walk. Um, you know, I wouldn't make it. I... <laughs> I don't think I could even stand at the kitchen counter long enough to put together a good bolognese sauce. I'm not ready yet to go back to the gym, but I'm feeling like I'm getting ready to do a few things that um, will help me build up to that point, like setting some small incremental goals, like, like really getting up to 2,000 steps a day and then working up to 2,500 steps and, and so on, and, and maybe trying a plank, even though, you know, I don't know, I feel like a plank is dangerous, like it's gonna engage my abdominal muscles in a way that'll start the cramps again. Um, anyway, it isn't yet time to put cancer behind me. <laughs> That's a day that I suspect is fairly far ahead of me but it is time to start figuring out how I can put cancer treatment at least this phase of cancer treatment um, behind me and figuring out a plan for moving forward um, hmm. emphasis on move Christy always says to me that a body in motion stays in motion and I need a plan for getting in motion again if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Also, don't forget to call your senators and your congresspeople to demand universal health care. And most importantly, don't forget to vote.